Hudson Prentice in. Oh, and he knocks out his off stump. Four wickets for Finn Hudson Prentice. And for the second time in the match, he sends the off stump cartwheeling out of the ground. Seals is in and bowls. Curry is driving and he's got that one away. Fortunately off the edge, in the air, over the slips, down to the third man boundary for four. So Curry's going for his shots and why not really over the wicket bowls to Salisbury who picks caught behind by John Simpson and that's a well-deserved five wicket haul for Finn Hudson Prentice terrific bowling by the all-rounder Salisbury bowls and Clark is out first ball of the Sussex reply and Tom Clark with a flat-footed drive just nudges the ball into the slip Scriven is in Bowls outside off stump, cut away nicely, stylishly by Haynes behind point, and all Rishi Patel can do. Scriven is in, and bowls. He drives expansively through the covers, and a gap, big gap in the covers, out to the boundary for four. It was out there to be hit. Winter in goes Scriven, and bowls. Oh, expansively driven away by Haynes. Really did open his shoulders and super follow through and thrashed it away through the offside in front of point. All oh, Wishy Patel can do. Round the wicket he comes and bowls to Haynes. Same treatment though. Full outside off stump, driven away for four. Haynes is not going to miss out whoever's delivering balls like that. It's a full length ball, slightly outside off, which has been driven and it's another no ball. They might look for three here off the no ball as well. They have and there we see the powerful arm of Liam Travascus from the boundary in yeah, after the mm. stumps as well. Tom in again, slightly straight, that's clipped off and that's four runs. Beating Salisbury at the fine leg boundary. Oh, uh, Scriven in again, it's outside off as he falls over through his uh, follow through, I hope he's okay. That's four through point for Haynes and as we talked about earlier He's in and bowls and drilled by Haynes. That's a lovely looking shot and he could well get four runs. It's lovely timing uh, by Tom Haynes who looks in good touch here. Made a good hundred last week. He goes to 40 and Sussex to 82 for one. Short, Salisbury comes in again round the wicket and there is another example mm. of flashing hands at a ball that just wasn't there to hit. Outside edge over gully and oh. it's reached the boundary. Unlucky, it's a good effort from Tom Scriven. He'll be disappointed he didn't stop that. It's good, sometimes it can be difficult. In comes Vasquez, clipped away by Haynes onto the uh, leg side. And that's a half century for Tom Haynes, coming hard on the heels. He's 133 last week against Northamptonshire. He spoke uh, pre-season about just how hard he's worked Tom Haynes. He went away to Tom Haynes. Ball's edged, oh, just wide of Gully, who dived to his right. Louis Kimber there was at a catchable height, would have been a spectacular catch. It is in round the wicket bowl, short pulled in the air, but over mid wicket, running out to mid wicket. Travasky dives, can't get there. Saw it early, Tom Haynes, and uh, helped himself, pulled it high over. Run rate, in goes Mike and bowls. Haynes pleasantly drives, really pleasantly, outside off stump, and uh, Lewis Hill can only turn and uh, reflect it, reflectively, I'm sure. Frequency welcome to the Upton Steel County Ground Grace Road, where Leicestershire, whisper it, I'm afraid, are rather up against it. They were bowled out this morning for 338. In comes Travaskis bowls, and Haynes is down the wicket, driving, and that's gone for four runs. Just bounces a couple of feet inside the rope. Using his feet, Tom Haynes, determined not to get tied down. He drilled the ball straight down the ground. Spree is in, nicely driven, it's too full. Haynes got to the pitch of it, cracked it out towards deep extra cover, and it's got the legs, it has got the legs. Ben Mike was running up the rope from the point boundary, but ground has dried out a little bit over the last sort of 48 hours. Triscothic long sleeved shirt is in, bowls down the wicket, goes also hits it high in our direction, over long on a really big hit into the pavilion, got right under that and uh, followed through nicely, really super hit. Again to Allsop bowls. Allsop's hitting straight again and okay. long and for six. Lovely hit again. It is Haynes. The scoreboard is 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 going all over the place at the moment. And comes Salisbury bowl. Oh, and he knocks out his off stump, and that's an error by Tom Allsop. He let that go. That's the eleventh first-class century of his career. Well played, Tom Haynes, and what he's done. 
so well. Curry round the wicket to him. Bowls short, pulled in the air over mid wicket. Uh, Hanscom almost ducks out of the way of that because he got plenty of that. Tom Haynes he crossed the ropes. So his first boundary of his innings. He moves on to five, 182 for two. The score. Will chatter amongst the Leicestershire fielders now, buoyed by those. Uh, two wickets, in comes Curry Bowles, Pujara's back and plays this one between Gully and Backwell Point, they've all races away towards the boundary. I don't My two boys, in goes Scriven Bowles, short, in the air, it's going to fly down well. to the fine leg, almost behind the, the, the wicket keeper in fact, and did it travel all the way? No, it bounced just before. They've added 46 in 19 overs. In comes Mike Bowles to Coles, and he's going to be caught at mid-on, and Lewis Hill takes the catch. Mike is in, Bowles, Pujari's hey! driving for four. Boundary. He's got one away. It was a half volley from Ben Mike. Mike charges in, Bowles, Pujari drives in the air, but he's got it through the gap. In, in the gap between uh, backward point. Vasquez in bowls, hit firmly by Simpson, and that's Stays gone away for four runs. And Leicestershire's fielding has been very good, but that was a poor bit of fielding. They, they thought about it a long time, Leicestershire. Squiven is in and bowls. Two for Jari's bowled him. Well, I think we can say that uh, Adrian sort of was probably correct on that basis. Now, whether it just swung a little bit, Pajara's bowls to him looking for the Yorker it's full and it's driven really nicely by Finn Hudson Prentice back past Scriven well, inside mid on to the boundary for four so his uh, wonderful match continues suggest in goes Scriven bowls to Simpson who drives very pleasantly for four it wasn't too much wrong with the delivery it was just over pitched from Scriven he was lo he's just looking to sort of swing it in um, Jaden Seals in comes. Oh, good shot. Sure. Hudson Prentice, that's four runs. Just over pitched by Matt Salisbury and drilled away by Hudson Prentice for extra cover for four. And Sussex have suddenly got a bit of a move on here. It's something to do with the breaks as well. In goes Scriven, bowls down the leg side, comes off the pads, I think. Now, was that leg by? No, he did get something on that, John Simpson. So just at the end here, these, these last four or five overs, he's begun to pick up a few runs. and. In it comes. Uh, oh, he bowled him! Didn't a wicket up. in the final over. It kept very, very low. Finn Hudson Prentice can't believe it, but he is gone in the final over of the day, and that will be that for the day. 282 for five.